friends welcome back to another which is today video so it's been a long time that i couldn't upload any of the video on this channel so finally today i'm here with a new topic that is physiology of liver so in that i'm gonna uh, share the first stage of liver so uh, i hope it's gonna be like beneficial for you all to understand regarding physiology of first stage of liver so let's get started so first of all let's see the physiology of liver in this premonitory signs of liver so what are the signs of the liver premonitory first is descent of fetal head into pelvis okay this is the first sign here second is gonna be frequency of micturition okay so this is the second sign next is false liver pains okay and the next is taking up of the cervix okay so these are all the signs are pre-monetary now moving to the features of q liver okay what are all the features of q levels first is painful rhythmic uterine contractions okay the uterine contractions will be in the in a rhythm okay it's uh, gonna be really painful but it's gonna be in a rhythmic uh, form so we can say like painful rhythmic uterine contractions next is show after that dilatation of os and taking up of the cervix and the next is formation of bag of waters so these are all the features of q liver now moving to the physiology of first stage of liver so the first stage of liver starts from the onset of q liver pains and ends with the full dilatation of the cervix that is 10 centimeters fine so here what's the thing is the first stage of liver common with the onset of q liver pains and ends with the full dilatation of the cervix or also we can say that is 10 centimeters okay so uh, these are all some of the points like contraction and retractions of the uterus next is formation of upper and lower uterine segment next is development of retraction ring Taking up of cervix, dilatation of os, show, formation of bag of waters, and next is rupture of membranes. Okay. Now, when the cervix is fully dilated, so what are the signs we can see at the time of the fully dilatation of the cervix or os? So first is size of the fully dilated os is about ten centimeters vulva gapping anal pouting and gapping about 2.5 centimeters presenting part may be seen urgency to defecate or wearing down efforts no cervix and no os felt on vaginal examination strong uterine contractions felt per abdomen and after that perineal body stretches to 10 centimeters and bulging perineum and mother restless so these are all the signs of fully dilatation of the cervix or os okay so it was all about the physiology of labor i mean specifically the first stage of labor so we will continue the second stage of labor in the next video till then goodbye and take care